How is it going everybody Mr Android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel well finally i was able to install the one ui 6 beta on my s23 ultra and in today's video i'll be showing you some of the best features and some other major changes that has been made with the one ui 6 i'll also be showing you all the animations by the end of this video so stay tuned and watch the entire video also let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one with that said drop a like leave a comment and let's get started after installing the One UI 6 on my phone, the first major change that I have noticed is obviously the new quick settings panel. I am glad that Samsung redesigned the quick panel and now it definitely looks much modern and clean when compared to the previous version. I can completely understand that many people still prefer the old one because they don't want to lose the one-handed usability but trust me this definitely looks much better than the previous one. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth toggles are now separated and I really like how you get the dark mode and eye comfort shield right below the brightness bar. Apart from this, the edit page has also changed and there is one important setting that you should turn on. Just select quick settings instant access and turn on this option. What it does is, when I swipe from the top right corner, it directly opens up the quick panel without showing any notifications. Even the music player also has this cool waves animation when the music is playing and it is absolutely stunning to look at. Overall, I really like what Samsung did with the new quick settings panel and I think the waves animation in the media player looks great, especially on your lock screen. Next, let's talk about some new widgets that's been added in One UI 6. If I go into the widget section, there are a couple of new weather widgets. The first one we have is the weather insight widget that shows you the actual temperature along with more details like chance of rain or how is the humidity outside. Then we also have this cool looking dynamic widget that shows this beautiful animation which changes according to the current weather. Another useful widget that I found is the custom camera widget. This lets you open up a specific camera mode directly from your home screen. You can set it to open the front camera or you can choose different modes like you can directly open the video mode, pro mode or any other specific setting that you want directly from your home screen. I think this is one of the most useful widget that's been added in One UI 6. Next, let's talk about one of my favorite feature of One UI 6 and that is the drag and drop. Now let me show you how this feature actually works. Let's say I want to copy a couple of images from this folder and paste inside the Samsung notes. All I need to do is just press and hold and copy the pictures. Now with my other finger, I can go back, open the Samsung Notes app and paste it like this. Not only you can do this with pictures, but you can also drag and drop text as well. I think this feature is super useful and it definitely improves the multitasking experience on your phone. One UI 6 also brings some new camera features and even the camera UI has changed a lot. First when you open the camera, you now get an option right here to choose the highest megapixel for your pictures. Not only this, if you go inside video mode, you can change the video resolution and choose different frame rates directly from here. Let's talk about some new features. When I go inside camera settings, there is a brand new option called advanced intelligence which lets you select between three picture quality options. Maximum is for the best photo quality with a little shutter lag and you can choose minimum if you want to take shots quickly without any shutter lag. This definitely works and if you really want to get rid of shutter lag then you can use this feature. Another useful feature that I found inside these settings is when I go inside privacy and security, we get this brand new option called auto blocker. It is turned off by default but you can turn it on and what it does is, it keeps your phone safe by blocking threats and other suspicious activity. It will make sure to block apps from unauthorized service and it even runs security check on your phone. Now let me quickly show you some animations so you'll get the better idea on how smooth the One UI 6 feels right now. As you can see, Samsung needs to work on the animations. It's definitely better than the first beta but I still think it doesn't feel as smooth as the other Android skins. 
I know since we are in the second beta, we cannot expect much regarding the animations, but let's hope Samsung improves the animation in the upcoming beta releases. So that's pretty much it for this video. These are some of the best features of One UI 6. If you guys like this video, then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr. Android and I'll see you guys in the next one.